Hello, this is Reza from Visual Components and in this tutorial we will learn how to add a new flow group. This video is a continuation of process modeling tutorial on creating a new product type. So please import a box from products and containers and also import a source process. This will be our feeder for the box. Then go to process tab delete the current flow group that was added with the feeder and add a flow group and then a product type under that and rename it to be box. Going to properties panel the box geometry will be associated to component URI and then the box will be as the part in product creator of the feeder. And then click on flow and click on the process flow editor on flow group 2. Then we will create from process feeder to to conveyor using the robot a link. Let's deselect the robot and right click on the to conveyor label and start to modify the statements as you can see. Let's change the product variable to box and then acceptable product to be box. So we are not accepting all the products and let's duplicate that and do the same thing for cylinder. So after the box we will bring in the cylinder from the machine to put it in the box. Let's remove the box from acceptable products and add cylinder there, yes. And then we will add a statement called attach and we'll attach cylinder to the box. So when the box leaves, cylinder will go along with it. And in the last step for transport out, the product variable will be box. Let's reset and play. So the box is on the process point that should be and then the cylinder should come yes to the box and it leaves with the box from the exit conveyor. That concludes our video. Thank you for watching and bye for now.